Hey guys, Triple Key Cat here. This is a live commentary according to the Zombie Arcade as per usual. The reason I'm uploading this is the G36C video, which is going to be the next Meet the Weapon, is taking a little bit longer than anticipated to, uh, to get ready. Mostly because, it being the holiday seasons, I'm not being as productive as I probably otherwise could be. Um, but, you know, I figured I'd throw up something else today anyway to get a video up there. The reason, of course, this is not the next Meet the Weapon video is I need uh, I need my download bandwidth for other stuff, so I don't really have the time to uh, be playing online enough today to make sure I'll get the footage I need for Meet the Weapon. But I wanted to know that I would get a video up, so I decided instead to just throw a live commentary out there. And uh, it's been a little while since I did one of these, and I know you guys, or some of you guys anyway, do enjoy them. So, yeah, well, that's what we're uh, that's what's going on. That's what we're doing. It appears that I'm the U.S. team, and this is a pretty even-looking... Oh, this game's only just started, actually, a game of uh, Conquest. Which is, uh, it's good that it's only just started. It means this will be a, a good, uh, lengthy video. In theory. Which we do like. I don't really have anything in particular I want to talk about today. Just, uh, you know, get a video up there, because that G36E video isn't going to be up until tomorrow at the earliest. But I, yeah, it'll probably be up tomorrow. I can't 100% guarantee that, but I should most likely get it done tomorrow. Generally speaking, those videos will come out a bit faster, but uh, it being the holiday seasons, I haven't been being quite as productive as I probably could be. Bro, you need to die, bro. Bro, bro. Alright. Which uh, has meant those, that these videos have been a little bit longer to make lately than... They will for the most part. I'm feeling like my game is probably a tad too loud, and I won't be loud in... Uh, it should be okay, actually. Let me just switch myself to headphones off of war tapes here. I don't know. I feel that that'll help for some reason. And, uh, actually, there's something I missed with my recording second settings, so I'm going to take one second to fix that up. Of course, you people on, uh, on YouTube aren't actually going to notice much of uh, any kind of difference. But I assure you, things are significantly better for me now. My frame rate was being capped much lower than it actually should have been. Which was going to make it difficult for me to be uber successful. Of course, running around in the open when I know there's an enemy there is also going to make it difficult for me to be uh, very successful at all. In, in fact, uh, that was probably the opposite of a good thing to do. Getting sprayed on by that dude's PP. His, uh, his PP-19. At least they didn't have a PP-2000, that's like way more PP than than you really want. I'm really feeling the KH-2002 at the moment, I'm thinking I want some full auto fire. Since we're playing as the US team, let's be super generic and use an M16. Not with suppressor though, or an stone rail, let's have a foregrip on here. And, uh, heavy barrel, yeah, let's, uh, let's rock this out. It's been a good long time since we, uh, we've seen this gun, considering this was... I believe the very first Meet the Weapon I did was the M16. But now we're seeing it again, this time in live commentary. There is an enemy in this zone area. Or this docks point would be being captured by me presently, which means I need to be careful. Not sprinting around like a dumb coom. I expect he's up here. In these upstairs offices. It's where I like to be, but he's not. I know he wasn't below me. He's probably in, in one of these office areas, or else out across here, but he definitely would have shot me if he was over there. Oh. oh, hey, bro. I heard you like being on the rooftop, apparently. He's, uh, he's gonna be shooting rockets at me if I stay there. He was an engineer, I could tell by the silhouette. Learn to recognize the silhouettes of the different classes, guys. It's, uh, it's useful to be able to tell at a glance if the person you are shooting at is going to have a rocket launcher. It's, it's one of the actually biggest things. Or uh, if you can see that they're recon, you know that they're not going to be able to do much up close because they're going to be relying on a handgun. Uh, assault and support, you know, it's about the same. You don't want to... It, it just lets you know that, yes, they can kill you if you're near them, as is as you should generally assume and also that they are not going to be firing rockets at you. Support, you have to be aware of claymores in C4 in particular, and assault, they might have a grenade launcher. It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's good to be able to have that little extra bit of intelligence about which class your target is playing, even though, you know, most of the time it doesn't really come into play. 
any additional advantage or bit of information you can glean is, uh, well, it's going to give you an advantage. And as it turns out, being at the advantage is normally advantageous. Which, uh, yeah, the, the different classes do all have sort of distinct silhouettes. They have different kinds of gear they carry, so just... It is, uh, it is helpful if you take the time to learn to recognize that. Even better if you can get good at, uh, holy crap, that guy can go there, get shot in the face. Even better if you can get good at figuring out at least what type of gun they're using, just at a glance, whether they're using, you know, a shotgun or a PDW, if they're using their quest as main weapon, or, uh, or if they've got a pistol out. I mean, that, that one's pretty easy to spot if they're carrying a pistol in particular. Always, always good to be able to do that. Know thy enemy, and know thyself, and you will never be defeated, even in a thousand battles. So that's not actually true, because sometimes you know your enemy, and you know yourself, and your enemy actually just happens to be a superior player. But, I I don't think that was really the point of the, uh, of the saying. I believe the point was that, you know, for the greatest possible advantage, at least. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure stuff like that is always meant to be taken 100% literally, you know, it might be... Nah, I'm, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Everything anyone ever says is meant to be taken 100% literally. Now, there are still enemies in this zone. I'm guessing there's still that guy on the rooftop, but I can't uh, I can't do a whole lot about that unless he wants to show himself. Which, I mean, honestly, if you're on the rooftop of this building, often your best bet is to just stay away from these windows to make sure nobody inside can shoot you. And you can just kind of chill out there and cap the point when people leave. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm not going to fuck around here, we'll go back over to the offices. You know, I'm, I'm actually concerned, this is only a 24-player game, this game, oh, and there's not even full, this is probably going to be a really long video. Um, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like longer videos of live commentary. <laughs> I hope that is uh, something that's to your enjoyment. Because that's probably what this is going to be, I don't think I'll cut this down or anything, I'll just, uh... I haven't been uploading a whole lot lately, so maybe, I don't know, one, one longer video one day makes up for that a little bit. I don't even know. I know some people enjoy, you know, long videos. Other people prefer things short and snappy and tightly constructed. I personally do tend to enjoy quite long videos because, um... Well, I have a lot of time to kill sometimes. Or it's more so that I tend to, you know, pass out in front of my computer with some kind of internet television playing most nights because it assists me to sleep with the background noise. Uh, so if videos are too short, that makes it difficult to find adequate uh, fuel to keep me going until I manage to fall asleep. And it also means I have to get up out of bed and go to the next video too frequently. And nobody nobody likes getting out of bed when they're all sleepy and shit. So it's just unfortunate. But of course, that's concern that probably doesn't affect the majority of people who, uh, who don't require background noise to sleep, I don't know. Or who don't choose the internet television as their background noise of choice, you need to die. The M16 is a really, really solid gun, I should use this thing more often. Because it is, uh, it is damn good. Damn, damn good! For killing them dudes. station back. It is my destiny! Cargo Island is, uh, is one of my favorite maps, the ship with the base game. I really do like this map. It is much to my enjoyment. Right. Oh, hey, bro, what's up? Oh. Oh, no, my ass! Really? How much... I thought I had that guy. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have let off the trigger for a second there. I, I didn't reset my accuracy, but I only needed him once more. I should have just kept on and I might have had a better chance to kill. Left him with 3% health. Unfortunate. But that was the way things went down. Alright, let's get back over there though. We need to get these points. We do have a pretty solid lead, but we can still easily lose this if we don't hold on to enough points. For long enough to attain victory. It is good that I'm not playing abysmally badly, as I sometimes do when I go to record live commentary. That's always a little bit unfortunate. Should've been on single fire from the start there. The recoil on the M16 is, uh... 
not tiny when you've got a four times scope and heavy barrel. You know, it's not a whole lot. Uh, if you don't have heavy barrel, it's very, very easy to control. With heavy barrel, you end up wanting single fire a lot at distance. To ensure that your bullets are hitting the people you want them to hit instead of not hitting anything whatsoever. Oh shit! Oh good! Helicopter's got my back. I'm gonna go hide in this rubble. Pro tip, guys. Hiding in rubble. Very, very good spot to hide oftentimes if you uh, can do it. Like having a point. Like, there's another dude here, but he's probably not gonna be able to find me. And I've got a helicopter saturating the area with rockets, so hopefully... Yeah, I'll get killed with a mobile cap. cap. Uh, I can't, can't really rely on that, so I'm gonna try and... He's on to me! I can't see him, but he can see me! He blew up my med kit. What an asshole. I need to heal myself up here. It's why I'm not, uh... Why I'm not edging my own yeah, he's definitely yet. Yeah. I figured he was gonna run around the side or something, but he was taking so long. I thought maybe, um, I thought maybe you know he was just camping where he was, which would have been fucking stupid. But it's what I thought he was doing. He he was doing because uh, a lot of times people in this game are are fucking stupid. Much like in real life, idiocy, a common failing. But as it turned out, he was actually smarter than I believed, and. uh... Underesting my, underestimating my enemy turned out to be foolish on my part, leading to my death. It, that happens to me a lot, you know, it'll be exactly the moment where I start to figure, hmm, maybe he's not that smart, maybe he's actually just chilling out. And that is the exact moment, as soon as I look away, that's when they come around. And that's just, that's not good, you know, I have extremely unfortunate timing a lot of times. With a, as soon as I look away from where I was expecting the enemy to go, because I start figuring maybe they're not going that way, that is when they actually were going that way all along. There's some kind of enemy in this general vicinity, but I don't know where. Otherwise, I'd be capturing this point. And I'm currently actually standing in the floor of this building. That's kind of unusual. Get get out of the floor. Get out. Get out of the floor. I'm stuck in the floor of this building. Oh no. Okay, he's on the roof of this of this office. Okay. I'm not in the... How do I... Oh, dash. I can get up on the roof over here and shoot him. That is what I will do. Maybe he's not on the roof of that office. Or he's... No, he's not up there. But I saw the red thing indicating that there was a dude firing. Yeah. He's somewhere over here. Is he just actually inside here, but I somehow didn't see him, and he didn't see me, and we didn't see each other? Or is he actually... He was actually prone in the floor of this building. Okay! Great, excellent. That's that's hardly exploiting at all. That's barely even an exploit a little bit. That's kind of an exploit. I'm not gonna lie. But these things happen. Fuck it! Helicopter. Oh, dude, wait a moment. Hope a gunner spawns in with me. Excellent, very good. And away we go. Always wait for a gunner when you spawn in these helicopters. As long as you're on the landing pad, anybody can spawn in as your gunner, but as soon as you take off. Anyway, that was a really annoying death. And we kind of lost a vast majority of points, because I'm not I'm not quite sure what my team's up to, but. Anyway, let's uh Let's blow up that building where you can lie on the floor. Oh no, my phew, my game locked up for a second there. I was worried that it was going to crash on the fucking ground while it was doing so. So he's getting a missile lock. Must avoid the stingers! I really don't like being shot down by anti-air missiles when I'm in a helicopter. It feels really bad. However, that is... Nope, not gonna hit me. Ah, I see you! Oh, it did hit me, though. I deployed, I deployed flares, but that didn't work. I'm gonna have to fall back and wait to, uh, re wait to regenerate. Because I do not particularly like being destroyed. My 
think Gunner did manage to get a few kills there, although I did not. Alright. Should be okay now. Let's do this again, Gunner buddy friend! Oh hey, enemy plane. Let's see if we can spot anybody down there. Oh hey, there's their helicopter. Oh, he fucked them up good. My uh, my gunner taught them super lessons. So yeah, those of you who saw my tech helicopter tutorial, don't think that means I don't know how to fly a helicopter. Just because my, my initial advice was really silly. I do approximately know what I'm doing when in a helicopter. Approximately. I'm trying to get out of the way of this missile lock by hovering behind this building. to be careful because they've got a uh, stationary anti-air gun in their base. Whoa! I don't know what the fuck hit us there, but it really uh, threw us forward like mad. Not sure what that was. How much we could have done there, though. Yeah, you really didn't want to have your rocket launcher out there, buddy. You probably uh, want to consider using bullets to kill. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason you should not pretend your rocket launcher is your primary weapon, you have just seen it. Alright, we've actually lost our lead now, means we lost all these points and didn't get them back. I was hoping, while I was in that attack helicopter, my team would get some shit done, but no. I don't know, everything was going so well at first, but then I couldn't quite get anything. It seemed like every point I was going to to try and capture it, I was the only one there. And there were often multiple enemies. Which is uh, actually not a good path for a team to take towards victory. And as you can see, once again, I'm the only person here. Somebody's blocking my capture, and I can't find him. If I had, you know, one teammate with me, I'd actually be okay. Most of them are sort of over near Alpha. If they were actually capturing Alpha, that'd be fine. But they're not. They're not actually doing that. They're fucking around in the hills in between Alpha and Bravo. I don't understand why so many people in this game seem to have an aversion to actually going towards the objectives. I think they get worried that if they went towards the objectives, they, they might be injured or killed, but what I think they don't realize is in this game, you can actually respawn when you're killed. It's not... Death is not the end! It is only a temporary setback of a few short seconds, and often worth risking for the chance of greater victory of winning the game for glory. Some people are just scabbed, though, or they need to, you know, nurse their kill-death ratio to the expense of any kind of actual victory. Personally, I'm much more interested in people with high win-loss ratios. Mine's not that great, largely because I play by myself so much, but my buddies, my regular gaming buddies who don't play much by themselves, who pretty much only play with either me or, you know, a bunch of other uh, friends, they have nice win-loss ratios as a result of that. It's really hard when you're just by yourself, though, to make a huge amount of difference on the outcome of the game. I mean, you can, sometimes, but it's, uh, I mean, I have a positive win-loss ratio. But it's a lot, a lot easier if you're playing with a group of friends, because you don't get in situations where you're the only person on the flag capture, and there's too many enemies there for you to cap it, and then you die. It does not happen. We do have three of the four points now, though. We could uh, make a comeback and end up winning this, which would be good. Some kind of sniper is shooting at me. I think he's in those office buildings. Construction buildings. Yep. Hidden down by a tank. And me. He's not going to be able to do much. I could try running up under him to kill him, but I'm actually... Oh, what we got to do is the ducks, and he's been killed. Alright, yeah, let's push up on these ducks, make sure... You know what, actually, I'm going to hold back, because what tends to happen on this map in particular is if you go for capturing all four points, the enemy do slip behind you and get the other three, except for the one outside your base. I see it all the time on this map, a team just only holding the one point closest to their enemy's base. And it happens because you get all four points, and then the enemy takes the other three, and you just chill out at the point near their base and don't fall back and replay and stuff, and then it becomes really messy. I don't want that to happen, so I'm actually just going to chill out in the midfield here. Make sure we don't lose Charlie or Bravo or Alpha. If I can avoid it. 
And uh, if my team wants to push up on the docks, all power to them, but we do need to make sure we're not losing these other points at the same time. So yeah, we got some kind of bad dude in this vicinity. I can't really do anything about that tank, but it looks like it's not in a position where it can currently kill me, so that's okay. I know there's an enemy over there somewhere. I know it like I know my finger. So, I'm pretty sure there's a dude over there. Can't quite see him. Is that a dude? Is that somebody's head poking up there? No. Part of the terrain! That was not part of the terrain, however. That was definitely enemy. Looks like we are going to manage to pull out a win here. Which is good. It was close for a while there, but... I think, uh, I think we got this. I'm gonna get up in this office building here. Warehouse, I guess. And, uh, oh, hey, bro, what's up? Wow, that, I can't believe that took me so many bullets to achieve, but hey, I got the job done eventually. That's the important thing. I'm even doing. Give me a second on my team. Decent ratio. Long video and not an amazingly exciting game, but I hope you guys have been enjoying. We're getting towards the close of the game now. That will be the termination of this video. Which I guess is going to be a very long one. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, the G36C video will be coming up for Meet the Weapon. I'm uploading Cthulhu today, and there will be more Cthulhu tomorrow, most likely. I'm trying to get back into the swing of uh, making sure I get these uploads, you know, done in a timely fashion. Oh, you couldn't run me over there, buddy. Totally shot you in the face out of your fucking Jeep. And then dodged. Like a boss. Important thing when a car is speeding towards you like that is not to freak out. Just remember, if you can kill the driver and move out of the way, you're going to be absolutely fine. And uh, that's by far the most badass way to avoid death there. You don't want to just like try and sprint and jump out of the way and shit. Because that probably won't work because he's in a car and can turn very quickly. And, uh, and it's just nowhere near as manly as shooting the driver out and then casually strolling out of the way. Okay, so you can see here, we got this point, and we're actually losing both those points, and we already lost B. For some reason, it always goes that way on this map. But, it's too little too late for our enemy, we are definitely going to win this. Not even a big deal to have completed our successful mission to win it. We only have a few lives left. Some kind of bad dude over here. Right over there. Hey, bro. No! You did not use that Jeep gun to kill me, or anyone. I don't know why that guy was spinning so wildly, but it was not going to uh, save his life. Oftentimes, spinning wildly about like this is not a good strategy in a gunfight. You can actually still be shot pretty easily, even though you can't keep a solid lead on your enemy. They are not going to have such a hard time. Anyway, that's game. So this will be, you know, approximately the end of this video. I'm going to take a quick look at my stats. 17 for 4. Not a bad little ratio at all. I can be quite happy with that. In fact, second on my team. Getting close to uh, next, uh, next kernel rank. MVP 2, a squad, all good. Alright, well, anyway. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Triple G Cat out.